y'all I just ate so it's stuck mm. let's let's start over hey my youtube baby <laughs> this your girl Dallas Bennett girl aka Brika and y'all are on my new channel Brika's lap band and cooking but I'm still gonna be Dallas Bennett girl aka Brika aka cooking i am coming on here today because a month ago or more than a month ago i celebrated my 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 six year of having lap band i have had my lap band for six years and i'll give you guys a little update <laughs> y'all i'm sorry i did just eat and <clears throat> The food is still going down. I ate some chicken. Chicken wings to be exact. But I am coming on here today to give you guys my update. From I've had this band for six years. For you guys that are new to my channel. I had that band December of 5th, 2011. My highest weight on record was 242 pounds. Day of surgery, I was about 225 or 220, I can't remember. Um, fast forward to 2014, um, I went in for a lap band feel because I wasn't losing weight. I got on that day, I had that feel I was 190. That was in December, December 20th ish, it was before Christmas and after new year's so um fast forward to 2014 mid-december i got a feel i said it was two weeks of hell because after that feel because I, this is my first time having restriction like this i was literally eating that much food food and it was full I could eat a spoonful of water and I was full. Um, I was going to go in because I thought my band was too tight because I wasn't able to eat. I was able to eat because I've had a feel where I wasn't able to eat anything. I couldn't even drink water. This, I could eat food. But, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I never did the lap bed filled diet. That time I got that feel, I did. I was on soft foods for like two weeks. New Year's Eve came. <clears throat> I was able to eat. I ate two small chicken wings. Half of a twice baked potato. I was done. I was able to eat. Fast forward to April of 2015 after I got that feel I reached my goal weight of 160 um so I lost 30 pounds I actually hit it before then but that's when I celebrated on YouTube April 5th 2015 and I got down to 160 by April so I went from 190 to 160 the next thing I know, my lowest weight I got to after that feel was 148 pounds. But I maintained my weight at 152 and I kept that weight off. I'm back. Y'all, my, um, my, um, my food is stuck. So I had to pause the video and... I didn't throw up, I just threw up phlegm. The food is still in me. There was nothing but spit. As you lap burners know, people that have lap band, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> anywho, where was I? I'm gonna start back from where I think I was. I, um, I was at, I stayed at 152. Come, now that was 2015 when I got down to 152. I kept that weight off. Here come December 2016. So that was almost two years because it was December. I kept that weight off. And I could 
I couldn't eat whatever I wanted, but I ate whatever I wanted with small portions. I didn't diet, I just lived life. I worked out at work. I'm on my feet 12 hours a day. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and said that I work out because I didn't. I was, I wasn't, I'm, a, I'm not gonna say I was eating bad because you can't eat half the stuff you wanna eat anyway. But I've never been a sweet eater. I didn't become a sweet eater until I had this band. But I I ate but small portions. I got full off this much food and I was I was done. Here come December. I noticed I'm able to eat more. I can eat more. And then I'll do my little meal pr before December happened. I noticed that I had gained if I gained like five pounds or so, if I got seemed like I was getting close to 160, I would meal prep and eat normal, eat good stuff, I guess. I wouldn't go out, I wouldn't get food in the cafeteria. I would just make my own food and do my little diet, my meal prepping, and I'll be back to 152. I fluctuated. So I knew what to do. But come December, that wasn't working anymore. And I was like, okay, my restriction. It's, it seems like it's gone. So, went to the doctor. <clears throat> Just called for a feel. Did the little x-ray thing. And they asked me. Now, this was the new doctor I was going to. They asked me, are you here for a feel or an unfeel? I said, I'm here for a feel. She's like, well, let me go talk to the doctor. Because it was a, the MA did, the medical assistant did the lap band feels. I ain't never been to a doctor's office or they did them. But kudos to you because she knew what she was doing. Got that feel. Um, they looked at the picture. My band, instead of it being slanted like this, it was like this on top of my stomach. And it should be tilted like this. Which means my stomach, my pouch was over my band. Which means my band moved out of place. So they immediately unfilled me. I was not sick. To this day, I don't... They didn't tell me my band slipped. I've asked, it's like your band didn't slip. It moved out of place. They said, with you having this band for so long, five years, I don't know, four or five years. Y'all do math, please. Um, they said, this is common. Um, I thought my band slipped. It didn't. Fast forward to January, my band moved back in place. From January of 2016, all the way to August, okay, I'm gonna say in July, I had no restriction. I got up and I stopped wearing myself because when I tell you I went through a depression, I went through a depression. I never wanna go through that again. I ended up gaining. The highest number I seen looking at the scale, I got up to 220. I went from 152, no, when I went and got that fill in December, I was 163, 164. When I got that feel, I got up, that I actually seen me standing on the scale, I got up to 220. I was so depressed. I'm pretty sure I got heavier than that, but my boyfriend at the time, now my hubby boo, he had to hide the scales from me. I could not get on that scale because I went through a depression. I didn't want, I didn't want to, I stayed in the house, didn't want to take pictures. Y'all want to see that video, go back to that video. I don't want this video to be too long. But I went through a depression and like I said on record, the highest weight I seen was 220. Um, fast forward to August of 2016, I finally got a restriction. Somewhat restriction. I think I had seven cc's in my band or 7.5, I don't remember. Um, I also started taking the, um, appetite suppression pill, um, phenamine. Let me know guys, I did not take that pill I couldn't keep up with it. I worked night shift. It didn't work. I don't know if it works or not because I didn't take it consist consistently. Um, so I don't know if it was the pills that had me lose weight or because my band actually started to work. So, um, and I, I, I didn't take the pills. I would forget to take them. I probably took those pills a good two weeks without forgetting. So, I did that. My band started working and I didn't take the pills. I was still getting the pills, but I was not taking them. I still got a whole bunch of pills in my medicine cabinet from 2016. It's 2018. I did not take those pills. Um, 
I got down from 220 um, from August. I got to 220. <clears throat> I got down to 190. Yeah, I got down to like 190, 200 pounds. 200 to 190. Come December 2016, I got engaged. Come um, January, February 2017, I bought my wedding dress. So, I did not want to lose any weight because I had my wedding dress. And I, that depression I had, it was I was over and done with that depression. Um, so, I was losing inches, but I really wasn't losing weight. I lost a couple of more pounds. But the lowest I seen was like one I was fluctuate from one literally one eighty eight to about one ninety nine. I fluctuated that but I lost inches because I went down a dress size in my dress. Um and it fit me perfectly my dress. Now um Right now, I've been staying. I got married in August of 17. Today is January 22nd or 21st of January 2018. So, right now, I just started back getting my feels um, after I got married. Um, my restriction is back. My band doesn't seem like anything is wrong. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, would I have another surgery? Still thinking about it, but I wouldn't have a surgery until after I had a baby. Um, right now, I, with me going up, I'm starting to eat better. I'm actually cooking and stuff, as y'all can see from my YouTube channel. Um, and I keep blushing when I'm staying at 190. 188 but when I weighed myself today I got a feel before Christmas right now I have 9.2 cc's in my band I have 11 cc lap band realize realize band 11 cc realize band I have 9.2 cc's in my band and right now when I weighed myself this morning I am 181 pounds and like I got, like, like I told you in my last video, I just posted with the air fryer. I want to have a baby, so I'm trying to get back to my goal size in order for me to be at a healthier weight when I get pregnant. And if I gain, they say you gain about 30 pounds. If I gain 30 pounds and I stay at that 30 pounds, I am okay with the size I am now. I am very happy with my size. I did go to the doctor. I am in December because I felt pain and with my band whatever it did last those years ago when it moved out of place I don't want that to happen again and I was feeling pain in my port they said it's not your band it's probably your port with the scar tissue and you know when you cough a lot and you like you pull a muscle that's what it was feeling like but I wasn't sick I didn't throw up and anything my, my new doctor well, she's a nurse practitioner. She told me if you're not throwing up, you're not sick, it's not your band. More like the, the pain you're coming, feeling is your port. And she was like, I I can't refer you to get um, the, when you do that barium swallow test, I forgot what it's called. She was like, I, you have to get referred and I'm not having the symptoms that something is wrong. So... I am six years out. Lira is okay. I don't see myself having another surgery no time soon unless this thing gets removed. Does my band get on my nerves? Yes, it does. My band really gets on my nerves. But I've had it so long, I know how it works. I'm doing this because I feel like I'm going to throw up. So, um, yeah, six years with the band. I'm 181 pounds. I'll give you guys a full body shot. Um, this is me at 181 pounds, if y'all want to see. Um, I 
I just put on some shorts so y'all can see. These are my scarves. Six years later, I will be back at my goal weight. Um, like I said, I am really happy with my size now. I'm happy. I do want to get smaller, but it is what it is. But anyways, you guys, remember, write to me, subscribe to me. Um, hit that notification button so you don't miss a beat. Um, give me a thumbs up for this video. Um, I love you guys. You guys been with me through the years. And even for my new subscribers. Yeah, this lap band. It's really wishy-washy. I don't even think doctors are really doing it anymore but if I was to have another surgery it will be after I have a baby but like I said if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> I'm still losing with my band um yeah bye youtubers um remember hit that notification button so y'all don't miss a beat bye bye